Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here, and welcome to the channel. Just to keep you in the loop, the Gibraltar Feeder GP started today. And let me tell you this, women's chess really rocks. Why? Well, women are never afraid of the positions they go for. The Gibraltar Grand Prix has 12 candidates. Round one is underway, and I hope I'll get this game out sooner than later. From round one, one game that really stands out is the one between the Muzichuk sisters. What on can you expect if you're up against your own sibling? Is it luck or is it luck? So it's Maria versus Anna, who are just about to equal in strength. Let's bring up this board. And let's shoot. And this is what we have. We have an e4 opening. And it answers with the usual e5. And Gary to see probably another Spanish or Italian. Knight f3. Knight c6. And we can now confirm the Spanish is in place. a6 attacking this bishop. The bishop backs off and introduces a kingside knight with Maria getting his majesty to safety. This is how Anna responds. She chooses to go for a closed system. After rookie one, how many times have we seen this opening? Basically, every single player does go for this opening and there is... Oh, there are so many games to mention. B5 got this bishop to back off to safety, and our two gets a king to safety. And at this point in time, Maria prepares a prophylactic type of response. It was a simple h3 to stop the bishop on c8 that is yet to find his way into the game. So if d6 using the chick or in, the bishop would not be able to pin on g4. And this move to h3 does in a way change or may change the structure of this game. No d6, but Maria brings this bishop into the diagonal. d3 led to this thrust. What happened here? These two pawns came off. And with this guy in the centre in a way, hanging, Maria goes for him. And here Anna can use his position to charge after the bishop. Now this is one way to do it here. Coming back, way number two is to trade the knights. And this is how the game was really played. Not bishop f6, but Anna launches a queen after the rook. If f4, would this be a problem? Well, let's see. If the rook comes under fire, something would be lost and south would have a problem. So therefore, yes. If rook e4, when the rook also joins in the party, should the rooks come off? Even after Queen F1, South does get busted. Coming with this attack, the Knight will need to come off. And it's not Rook takes Bishop, but this hit on the diagonal. And this is how the game really ends. So coming back to this position, the Rook backed off to where he came from. And with Anna getting her Rook on this outpost, Knight d2, and boom, c5, and we have a razor-sharp game. a4, something Fischer tried against Zika in a very similar position, using the chicker in, led to the bishop to come under fire. This pawn was arrested, and one move to look out for is the one Anna went for. She rerouted the knight to this outpost. And 
she's looking, of course, to penetrate deep. With the knight coming to F3, stopping or blocking the access to G2, this is one game the two sisters must have tried before. Can you try and figure out how Anna tries to make progress from this very position? She discovered a very beautiful move in only 25 seconds. Can you match that move? Or can you even do it better? And by this I mean faster. She hit this pawn off and of course exposes the queens. Shall we see the what ifs here? If you grab hold of the knight, there is this check by the queen. I mean, the king being forced back to the very first. This is what you're looking for. If rook is three to protect the knight, you will get busted. Remove this guy with a check, force his majesty to the second, and the key move is not per se bishop c5. I try something like bishop b4. Should this rook be removed, hit the knight off with a check, and if the king is forced back to f1, and right now, this will be his only legal square. It's not only the queen that drops, but the game too. Return the rook to the first, and this will be the mate you're looking for, and let's hear it. Okay, checkmate. Coming back, there are so many other variations you can go for here. After, well, let's do this one. Another variation is the one we saw the two sisters go for. Maria got rid of the queen, and from this point, there's only one way to play it right. If you get rid of the queen, rook takes, and rook takes, will land north with a massive problem. Not only this knight bites the dust, but north is basically toast. However, this is not what we saw. And that miraculously does not bother with the queen, but grabs hold of the rook. Queen b6, not just saving the queen, but chasing after this bishop, led to the elimination of this knight with a check. But has Anna got enough to work her magic without the queen? After the king moved to the second, this check materialised. The moves repeat, and Anna in the end secures a draw with a perpetual. It's quite surprising actually to see this type of endgame and trust the two sisters to show us how things are being done. The queen's sacrifice, in a way, was tremendously brave. And let's just come back to it. Who would not, with this type of setup, get rid of the queen? With Anna just about finding the right moment to remove the rock. Check this out. Maria directs her queen, not only to safety, but with her launching after this bishop, this knight check by getting rid of the knight was a real masterpiece in a way. This is exactly what Anna needed and just found the perfect moment to squeeze this perpetual in. For sure, these two girls go very far, but when it comes to <laughs> fighting it out, well, what can I say? Splitting the point between them was the fair outcome. And once again, the two sisters, in a way, still remain sisters. Who wins Gibraltar in the end? Maybe a different story. And what do you know? Before we know it, the sisters might meet again. The show goes on until the very last round of Gibraltar, which takes place in the, on the on the 2nd of June. I'm not sure I will be around to cover any other games, but for sure I will be keeping an eye out for any major developments.
more to follow, time permitting. So this is how I would like to close your chess puzzle here. And whatever you do, guys, safety always first. Thank <laughs> you.